Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial for motion matching for Unity. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at pose favoring. So what exactly is pose favoring? Well, up until now, we've been setting up a lot, thing, lot of things and doing things on a relatively high level. But what? how do we fine tune things? How do we polish things on a granular level? Well, pose favoring is one of the tools that we can use to do this. With pose favoring, we can tell the system that specific poses should be given favor. This means that they will be more likely to be chosen by the motion matching algorithm. So let's have a quick look at an example of this. So here is my walk forward start animation. At the beginning of the animation, it's actually playing a tiny lean, which is coming from the run forward start. Now it might be very subtle, but I have done a lot of calibration on this character, um, considering how uh, uncontinuous the animations are. So it's probably going to show up worse in some cases, uh, especially if you haven't done a lot of calibration. So what we can do is we can give extra favor to the walk forward start, or at least the beginning of the walk forward start to make sure that it's more likely to be chosen than that tiny lean from that run forward start animation. Now there's other cases where we would use pose favoring and that is with our running loops or our walking loops, generally our loops in general. Especially if we're using mocap data, we're gonna get a lot of little bits of running loops in between our plants and all sorts. And we really wanna pick one that we like, our favorite one, and we want to we want to tell the system, hey, make this one more favored, right? Um, it, just think of it this way: if it's your favorite animation, make it favored, right? So another use case we can use is while we're playing, while we're testing our animation, we see an animation that maybe happens too often. Maybe I'm doing a 180 plant, and instead of the 180 plant, it keeps doing 135 plants. What we can do is just reduce the favor um, of the pose so that it's less likely to happen until we get the desired effect. So this is a tweaking method and it is a something you do in the polish phase for motion matching, not something you do straight up. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So first of all, let's go to our walk forward start animations. Now I've actually got two, I've got a mirrored one, which is something you can do with motion matching. And we can open that up and we'll get the timeline we'll go to utility and the one we were looking for is this pose favor. Now we're doing pose favor on a per pose basis now. We can add a tag and I'm just gonna preview this so we can see what's going on. So this is our walk forward start and it's only very early the beginning where, the very beginning where it was doing that lean. So I'm gonna just tag up maybe like the first step about to there and I'm gonna click on it and in the left here I can change the favor. Now I'm actually going to turn it down to 0.85. Now you've got to understand how motion matching works. When it goes through all the candidate poses, it picks the one with the least cost. This pose favor is a multiplier to that cost. Therefore, the lower the favor, the lower the cost. Therefore, the more likely it is to be chosen. So it's a little bit backwards. Uh, lower numbers uh, make it more favorable, but that's for a reason. So. Now we've set it to 0.85, it's gonna be more likely to be chosen. So for example, if I set it to 0.5, this means that these poses within this section of the animation are going to be twice as likely to play. Whereas if I set it to two, they're gonna be half as likely to play. So let's put it back to 0.85 and I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go to our, um, our mirrored walk forward start and I'm going to do the same thing there, add a pose favor tag. Now these tags in the utility are always here. You don't add tracks like other tags, just so you're aware. We select it and we say 0.5. Okay, let's pre-process that quickly. And we'll hit play and see if we have managed to get rid of that walk forward start issue. Okay, so now, yep, it seems pretty good. I'm not seeing that initial lean anymore. Now it was very subtle, granted, but there may be cases where you find more, um, you know, less subtle things. So let's look at a few other examples. So I have my running loops and my walking loops and blend spaces. So let's go to our blend spaces and we'll open the timeline for those. So blend spaces have timelines as well. 
uh, just not events, only tags. We can go to utility, and because I like this, and I just want to make sure that it's not picking ones from other sections, I'm going to add in a post favor tag, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of favor, 0 0.9. You really need to just play with this and, and tweak it until it does what you want. Um, there's no, there's no, nothing truly explicit about it. It's just giving a bit more control where if you didn't have this, you would have no control. You'd be subject to, uh, c uh probability, um, without being able to manipulate it. So let's do those two. So those two blend spaces, the walking, um, loops blend spaces. So just to recap, these are the walking blend spaces. It's forward and your arcs left and right. And same with your runs. See that there. Let's look at one more case. Uh, let's look at our plants. I'm going to go to our plant animations. And you can see I've already tagged these with a bit of favor um, because I really want those plants to, to happen. So I've tagged this, not, you know, 50 degree plant, I mean, sorry, 90 degree plant with the 0 0.9 tag. If I wanted it to happen more frequently, or say in this case, I want this to happen more often than an arc, I'd rather it do a plant than an arc when I change direction. I could reduce the cost of this. Vice versa, I could increase the cost of, um, of the arcs. It really depends which way you want to look at it. Um, same thing for here. This is a, you know, another plant in the other direction. I think these are, you know, 135 plants. I've only given this 0 0.95. And this comes back to that issue I was talking before, um, where my 135s were playing a bit too much. And you can see here, I've given my 180 plants 0 0.8. So this is, as I was saying, I did this to differentiate the 135 plant and the 180 plant. Now, it, it's more often that you do the 180 plant with the stick, you're less likely to do 135, and that's one of the reasons. But also, um, it's just that with this particular Anim set, uh, because of the way the, um, it flowed, the poses just flowed better into the 135, so I had to sort of give it a bit of an extra push to use the 180. So you can see that with 0 0.8 there, and same for the plant in the other direction. So there you go, that is Pose favoring in a nutshell, we can fine tune our animation on a per pose basis um, by manipulating its uh, cost multipliers. So thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video.